Um, the, he talks to a, you know, us having a monopoly in Australia. He looks to that through the prism of print only. There are many media operations in Australia. I mentioned in my introduction the top 10 websites in Australia. And there are other players. He talks through that the increase in publications, particularly global media that have entered Australia uh, over the past decade. He mentioned The Guardian, The Daily Mail, has also entered in 2014. I think we've seen the impact of the tech platforms and BuzzFeed that had an office and bureau in this building that couldn't compete with Facebook. Um, we've seen increased um, you know, uh, broadcast entities now entering the market directly through streaming through the entertainment product, but also news product. Uh, Foxtel doesn't just uh, broadcast Sky News, it broadcasts CNN, it broadcasts CNBC, the BBC, amongst others. There is many choices for Australians and that News Corp does not by any definition have a monopoly. And to look through media through the prism of just print, which is sharply declining, I think is, again, uh, not the way to consider how people consume media today. So I want to put that. He makes that point a number of times. Um, he talks to, in you know, he, he's point 14, he talks through the company's history in the UK you know, media market um, around um, allegations of bribery. Um, when he made that, when, I've got to say, there is no comparison between the UK market and the Australian market when it comes to the behaviours and operations of the two countries. Uh, at the time, um, we went through an independent audit by Deloitte of all our accounts, and I may pass to my colleague, Campbell Reid, who, uh, who was part of that audit, uh, and we submitted to two independent former retired judges, and that he therefore makes assertions about our UK operations, which are practices that do not exist here. Campbell, do you want to talk further to that? Just to say, in that um, at that time, allegations were made that I think the phrase was news had questions to answer. We reviewed thousands of um, news corporation transactions, every transaction editorially going back six years. The two judges found no evidence of any misbehaviour um, comparable to that of the UK um, activities. Senator Fawcett. 